French bisexual writer, filmmaker and artist Jean Cocteau was a leading figure of the Dada and Surrealist movements of the mid-20th century. Je suis un inconnu célèbre. Born in 1889, Cocteau grew up in pre-war Paris as part of the bourgeoisie, with a highly developed appreciation of the arts. Je suis, et je ne déplore, pas capable de tout. He began writing poetry as a teenager, publishing his first two collections in 1908 and 1910. Le vrai drame des poètes, c'est qu'ils doivent vivre très au-dessus des moyens de leur époque. He avoided military service during World War I, working instead as an ambulance driver on the Belgian front. Following the end of hostilities, Cocteau became interested in the developing world of modern art and the new wave of French writers, especially team prodigy Raymond Bradaguet, and the pair became lovers. Cocteau also befriended Pablo Picasso and the pair collaborated on various projects, including the 1917 ballet The Parade. J'ai demandé à Picasso. Radegay's death in 1923 denied Cocteau a key creative inspiration, and he sank into depression and opium addiction. Cocteau's loss manifested in his 1924 surrealist reworking of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. A wonderful example of French surrealist theatre. Before leading to a period of treatment in a sanatorium, followed by a return to religious practice, both having a profound effect on the young artist's work. Je m'excuse de vous parler avec des yeux qui ne sont pas exactement les miens. His critically acclaimed publications, Les Enfants Terribles, 1929, and Opium, The Diary of an Addict, 1930, span out of his experiences. In the anonymously published Le Livre Blanc, Cocteau celebrated homosexuality, a taboo subject at the time, but the following reprint incorporated a series of erotic drawings and accreditation to Cocteau. In 1934's The Infernal Machine, Cocteau contemporized the classic Oedipus Rex story, with costumes designed by Coco Chanel. In 1937, he met actor Jean Marais, and the pair became lovers, collaborating on a number of Cocteau's films, including the 1946 Gothic classic La Belle et la Bête, or Beauty and the Beast, which brought Marais stardom. The film's grand Gothic star was plundered by Disney for their interpretations of the true-to-life story from 16th century France. In 1949, he directed Orpheus, based on the themes of poetry and death he so often referred to. The second film in his Orphic trilogy, in 1950, Cocteau decorated the Villa Santo Suspir in Saint-Jacques Cap Ferrat and began a series of frescoes in Villefranche-sur-Mer and in Melilla Forêt. Cocteau was elected to both the Belgian and French art academies. Jean Cocteau died October 11, 1963, one day after Edith Piaf, his close friend and star of his successful play Le Belle and Deferrand. Allô! While unpopular with many of his contemporaries, Cocteau's work exerts immeasurable influence in the contemporary world.